Good evening to you. We've got nice mild weather in place for not only today, but the first half of the weekend. But we are tracking a very strong cold front heading in as we head into the daytime on Sunday. Outside right now, already the lights are on. Less than an hour away from the official start of tonight's run of Winter Wonderland out at Lake Shawnee from 6 to 10 o'clock. It'll go nightly through the end of the year for a $10 per car suggested donation benefiting the great organization of TARC. Partly cloudy and 61 degrees right now. We made it to a high of 66 after a cold morning start of 29. So those southerly winds really brought in that milder weather. We will not be that cold tonight, but we should be near that temperature again by tomorrow afternoon. It's 60 in Manhattan, already down to 48 at Hiawatha, 54 at Marysville, Emporia checking in at 56 degrees right now. As the winds start to let up a little bit, those colder areas north and south are where the winds are lighter and the temperatures are falling a little bit more quickly. Everywhere else still a 10 to 15 mile per hour south and southwest breeze right now. Skies have been partly cloudy today. Had a lot of sunshine, that beautiful uh, day overall, but now some thin clouds stretching over a larger portion of the sky, giving us a partly to mostly cloudy sky through the evening and tonight. If you head pretty far to the northwest, up into the Pacific Northwest and Southwest Canada, you see this precipitation. That's not moving our way, but as it skirts across the northern plains, what we're tracking with this is the push that it'll put on a front that'll be sliding down our way, and it is going to really change things up later in the weekend. Future track shows temperatures tonight down into the low 40s and some upper 30s west uh, all through central Kansas, a little chillier as the winds die down. But look at the highs tomorrow. Western Kansas in the 70s. We should make it into the low to mid 60s. East, mid to upper 60s west across the viewing area. And then comes Sunday. Here comes this cold front. Upper 30s to low 40s in the morning. And in many areas, that may be about as warm as we'll be through the day. Temperatures may come up a degree or two before falling. And by late in the evening, we're down into the 20s and low 30s with a strong north wind blowing in behind this front. So that'll be a wind chill concern. So we're going to advance this ahead to Saturday, 7 p.m. Again, still in that milder weather for the parade, no problems temperature-wise. But here comes this cold front in Sunday morning, 30s and 40s for the wind chill. But look what happens by afternoon, 3.30, teens to around 20. That'll be one day after a high in the 60s. It'll feel a good 50 degrees colder Sunday afternoon and add even more to that as we fall down to near zero for wind chills Monday morning. A quick blast to some very cold weather making a return. 40 tomorrow morning with southerly breezes should make it back up into the mid 60s at two o'clock. If you're headed to the parade, Tomorrow evening, 6 o'clock for the start of the parade. Should be pretty nice. Temperature around 54 degrees, a nice dry evening. Your seven-day forecast, we've got 65 for the actual high temperature tomorrow. 39 is somewhat misleading on Sunday because the winds will be so strong it'll feel sharply colder. May not make it above freezing on Monday. Warming up a little bit with a chance of a few showers toward the middle of next week around Thursday. Highs in the 40s to low 50s for the second half of next week. Let's look at the sunset yesterday evening around a fire at Tecumseh from Steve Williams, also near Topeka from Elton Clausen. There's a look at the sunrise this morning from Andy Schiefelbein. And look at that. Warm enough today, Thanksgiving weekend. There were folks out sailing at Lake Sherwood. That photo from Shirley Baxley. Warm enough or windy enough? Well, both. A little yeah, both, I'm right? Sure the, I'm sure the water wasn't so warm. Yes. Yeah. Stay in the boat. That's right. Don't tip. All right. Thanks, Matt.